Hi everyone, in this video we'll go over the settings section in the payroll app and explain some of the important aspects you should know. Let's get started. At the top of the screen you'll see the current plan that your payroll app account is subscribed to. If you're a brand new user to the payroll app, you'll start off on the premium plan trial. This will give you the full features and functionality of our premium plan to try out, such as access to reports, ability to email payslips, access to Payroll App Web, which allows you to access your Payroll App account from your internet browser on a PC, and more. You can also subscribe to the premium plan from here by tapping on the plan option and selecting the subscribe now button. Follow the prompts on your phone to complete your subscription purchase. If you have subscribed to the premium plan, the Restore Purchases button allows you to sync your purchase made via your Google Play or Apple App Store account to your Payroll App account if required. The next option is Manage Company Details. This will give you an overview of all company details in your Payroll App account. It's important that the details you see here are fully completed and accurate. Check that your ABN and GST branch number are correct and valid along with your contact details such as your phone number, email address, and address. To make any changes to your company details, you can select the Edit option, make any amendments you need to, and when you're done, tap on the Save button. Manage items are the next three options, and they relate to the items that you can select when creating a pay run. Manage earning and leave items will show you a list of all the current earning and leave items that are set up and available to you when creating a pay run for an employee. Manage allowance items will show you a list of all your existing allowance items and manage deduction items will show you a list of all existing deduction items. While we've added our most popular items by default, we know that businesses are unique and your requirements may differ so you can also create your own custom items if you need to. For example, to create your own custom earnings item, go into the Manage Earning and I Leave Items section and tap on the plus symbol in the top right corner. Enter the name you'd like to give your custom earnings item, select whether it's applicable for tax and super guarantee calculations, and then select Save. This new item will then appear in the earnings item list for you to select when creating a pay run. The next section in the settings menu is an important one and it relates to your software ID. Your software ID is a unique number created for your ABN when it is registered to the payroll app during account creation. You'll need to register your software ID with the ATO in order for your STP submissions to be processed successfully. To get started, tap on Register Software ID. We've put together everything you need to know and on how to register your software ID in this section. Take note of your details under Step 1 and then call the ATO to register the software ID for your ABN. Once that has been done with the ATO, tick the I've registered my software ID option under step three. Your STP submissions will now be accepted for processing by the ATO. Sometimes your pay runs might stay more or less the same. So rather than entering these details each time you create a pay run, you can toggle on the copy pay items option, which will allow you to copy pay item details for selected employees from the last pay run that they were part of. Once copied, you can edit any of these values. For example, if your employee is casual, you can adjust their hours. You can also add or remove pay items as required. Help and support. We've got a range of help and support options available to you as a payroll app user, including our help guides at help.reckon.com. These provide guidance on common tasks or questions and would highly recommend you check it out. You can also join our Reckon community. The community is a thriving online space where you can ask a question, discuss topics with fellow users, 
and stay on top of news and announcements that relate to the Rick and Payroll app as they come to hand. If you're on the premium plan or premium trial, you'll also have access to our live chat support right in the palm of your hand. Tap on the live chat option to start a conversation with a Reckon team member, and they'll be able to assist in answering any questions you may have regarding the payroll app. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that's given you some insight into the settings menu in the Reckon Payroll app. For more help, visit us at help.reckon.com or join our community at community.reckon.com.